easily. It's uh, a <laughs> second game in a row has come down to an interception at the end. Um, kind of similar to that. What, what, what was going through your head as that ball got up? I know they tried Trey a couple times, and he finally came down with that. Double. Yeah, like I think like the play before, they had run a corner route or out route on him, and he had caught it. And I told him, like the next, we had, they had caught, I think it was a timeout or something. I told him about to come right back to you. The next play, he picked it off. So just me believing in him, believing in defense. I know he's going to make the play, and that's the side you shouldn't throw to. First touchdown to Harold, was that a part of the script, or did you change that play? Oh, no, it was on script. That was the third play that we called and executed all week in practice. We knew that was going to cut the safety, and Tyler was the fastest guy in the stadium, and uh, he sold it on today. In the first half, you had four touchdowns. <laughs> in the second half, of uh, scoreless. What? What was different about you guys? Was it more about them? What was, how do you? Uh, man, I mean, they definitely made adjustments because if not, we would have had sixty. But uh, we gotta, we gotta. I think we relaxed a little bit uh, as offense. Uh, we just we weren't executing um, up front, and uh, me as well, and the skill players. We kind of uh, laid back a little bit, thought the game was over. But that's what our coach uh, talks about all the time. We got to finish the games. Like we started off fast, probably the best start we had and since those guys been here. Scored every drive. But uh, we just got to finish better in, in order to get the next step as an elite team, my elite offense. What were you seeing early on third down? You were converting a lot in the first half. Uh, I mean, they were in the defense that they showed on, on film. Uh, we could complete out routes against them. They playing a lot of two-man, a lot of cover three. And so we were uh, getting to those spots. Coach was calling a good, a good, a good game. Uh, they called a good game the whole game. We just got to execute more difference for you all offensively well i guess you might you mentioned execution what it, what does it take to do that for four quarters uh, i just say dialed in focus and just uh believing in your technique and um just next play mentality i feel a lot of players left some plays out there and um like i said florida state give hats out to those guys i mean they did a great job of making adjustments in the second half because uh, like i said if they would play the defense they were in the first half it would have been over with a couple hours ago. But um, they guys, those guys uh, do a good job of coaching. Uh, we just got to do better. As a quarterback, how frustrating is it when you have that type of first half and then don't put up any points in the second half and you can really just those, – those short drives pile up? I mean, not really frustrating. Just know that they're, they're football players just like we are. I mean, they make mistakes like the first half. They made a ton of mistakes, and we did it. And the second half, they came out. And didn't make no mistakes. I feel like, and um, we made a couple mistakes that uh, cost us. Uh, it cost us that we couldn't score in the second half. We've got a lot of guys make plays. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of becoming the motto of this wide receiver group? That oh yeah, oh, yeah. I challenge those guys each and every day, man. But without, I wouldn't be able to get the ball to so those guys. Without the guys up front, I mean, hats off to those guys. They battled their butts off. Uh, it took a couple plays off, but um, the fatigue set it in. But uh, overall, they did a great job to, today protecting me. Speaking about up front, the first half, the pocket was pretty clean. The whole yeah. Half. Yeah. I try, I, like I said, I tell those guys each and every week, every day at practice. I mean, even the scout team guys, they go hard. And so if they go hard at scout team, you know they're going to get, they're going to go hard in, in the game. See uh, another defensive line who's, who's very good. They have some good guys up front. And um, yeah, those guys made a lot of plays for me today. Seth said you all might have been shooken up a little bit with losing Braden. Uh, you know, how did you guys kind of take the field and kind of regroup as, you know, knowing that he may not be with you? Uh, we know, like, uh, the next man is up. And uh, uh, JJ stepped up and made some uh, good plays. I mean, some stuff to, that he needed to learn from. But now he's he's the guy that's probably most likely going to be the M. So he's got to uh, fill, fill some big shoes. Really for three and one from going up and down first third of the year. What do you learn the most from this group in the first four games? Man, this team is uh they gonna never they're never gonna stop fighting to the end. That's what I like about this team. Uh no point fingers. We in this thing together. Uh down to the last seconds, the last two games to come down to I don't know how many seconds it was today. But uh there's so much fighting this team. I love these guys, I love our coaches. Uh they put it on us every day. They preach uh finishing and um fighting to was three zeros on the clock and that's what we did the last two weeks and that's what we did tonight. My last question for you. You mentioned you think maybe you guys got a little lackadaisical. Was that just on the field, or you feel like play calling got conservative, or was it just? No, nah, I wouldn't play calling. Definitely the players. I mean, you could just tell the vibe. Even when when uh, Braden got hurt, a lot of guys were like, "Dang, man, that, that's how I got." It. But we can't we can't always dwell on that. We gotta beat up for him. He want us to do the best that we can for him, and uh, that's what we're gonna do from here on out. All right. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate y'all. <clears throat>